Star. Hello, students. Hey, today we're going to talk about some things in Treasure Island, something that I'm going to call literary treasures. These are things that we want to point out to you. And in chapter one, Robert Louis Stevenson does something he does throughout the book, and he uses figurative language. And the type of figurative language he uses in chapter one that I want to point out to you is something called similes. Similes, comparing one or more things using the word like or as. And in chapter one, we just got done reading chapter one, but in chapter one, there's a few similes I want to point out to you. You might've heard them as we were reading through. One is um, about the captain being as silent as a mouse. He's not a mouse, but he's silent as a mouse. That's a simile comparing the captain to a mouse using the word like or as. Another simile is the captain blew through his nose like a foghorn. So he's not a foghorn, but he blew through his nose like a foghorn. Again, using a simile, using the word like or as to compare one or more things. And the third one I want to point out is at the end of the chapter when Dr. Livesey, you know, has a stare down with the captain, the captain grumbled like a beaten dog. He's not a beaten dog, but he grumbled like a beaten dog. So just want to point that out to you, similes. We're going to have a test on similes down the road. And so I just want to prepare you for that. There's a whole page of notes on similes in our class unit. So if you click on the unit, you might see a page all about similes. So get to know what similes are, comparing two things using the word like or as. And in this chapter, chapter one, we're calling them literary treasures by Robert Louis Stevenson. And silent as a mouse blew through his nose like a foghorn, and grumbled like a beaten dog. Durr. Have a good day. See it.